Shannon, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. It's amazing to me to when I talk to people like you who do quilting and designs and mm -hmm. work with fabrics, how far quilting has come. Oh, absolutely. It's, yeah. it's almost like a totally different type of fine art. It is, it is, and it's a craft that is, it goes back thousands of years uh -huh. into ancient Egypt even. They found, they found different quilted products, and uh -huh. it's, it's so neat how it's you know, kind of evolved in different parts of the world. Well, and you do lots of land, uh, uh, cityscapes of different mm -hmm. parts of the world, so that, I guess that's, that's sort of a tribute to that area. Yes. But uh, let's take a look at a couple of your um, samples. And mm -hmm. one thing I wondered is if someone's just getting started, is it better to start with something like this second one we'll show, or this was my favorite just because it's mm -hmm. large. <laughs> yes, th this kind of chunkier applique piece is gonna certainly be easier to, to cut out and to, to stitch around. There's uh -huh. there's not a lot of really tiny detail and it's just a sweet little, it really sweet is. little design. <laughs> okay. So we might want to start with that one mm -hmm. versus something that's tiny. Yeah, like it has this. a little bit more detail. Exactly. Mm -hmm. These are still relatively simple applique pieces mm -hmm. to do, but but something like our, our our skyline here might be a little bit more challenging with these okay. with these really these really detailed elements. Like this is the this the city of Austin. So we have our Capitol building oh. and uh -huh. a little bit more more detailed stitching mm -hmm. that you have to do. For the design though, do you work from photographs or do you look on the internet? Where do you find the designs you use? It kind of depends. Some of them I'll draw draw um, freehand and some of them I'll use photographs. Uh -huh. There's you know a lot of different ways uh -huh. that I create I was the thinking image. more like cookie cutters and <laughs> something yes, like that yes, for you, easy ones. Yep, you could even use a children's coloring book. They have uh -huh. those outlines. You can trace those and there's lots of different places you can and find. In your book there's actually a number of patterns in the back. Mm -hmm. There's eight different patterns patterns included, uh -huh. yes. So that would be handy, and uh, especially just getting started. I think mm -hmm. we feel more comfortable maybe when tracing we can. Tracing something. You, yeah, just tracing it. Absolutely. Okay, well, we'll we'll learn which ones we want to do, and we'll show these again in a little bit. Yeah. So you have come up with something called the magic mm -hmm. tr image transfer. Yes. Okay. So rather than traditionally with, with doing these applique pieces, you have, to kind of, you have to worry about reversing the image, and oh. it's a little bit difficult to get the image from a piece of paper onto to fabric. Like words especially. Mm -hmm. or yeah. The mirror Anything image. that's more detailed, yeah, that needs to be oriented properly. I see. So what we do here, the magic image transfer technique. <laughs> so you're going to start with your piece of parchment paper. So we have our piece of parchment paper here and it's, you know, non-stick, so not freezer paper, but parchment paper. Uh -huh. And trace your image onto that. Don't worry about reversing or anything like that. And you can use either uh, just a regular pencil or a Sharpie. Either oh, of those okay. will work well. So I've used a Sharpie and traced our, our word love onto here. And then you will lay a piece of fusible web. This is a non-paperbacked fusible web. Uh -huh. Works really well. It's a heat activated adhesive, but it's still, you know, dry to the touch. And you can find these these different types of, of webs in sewing uh, uh, stores or mm -hmm. uh, the big box stores, any place like exactly. that. Quilting. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we lay that onto the fusible web and then just lay your piece of fabric on top of that with the wrong side touching the fusible web okay. to the wrong side down. Because you're going to want that web to adhere to both pieces. Mm -hmm. And we want it on the back side of, mm -hmm. our, of our fabric. So then we're going to hit it with the iron. And you're not really uh, ironing, you're, you're just trying to attach that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so it just depends on the, the fusible web manufacturer's instructions will tell you how oh. long you need to press it. Uh -huh. Do you use steam or dry? Dry. Dry, okay. Mm -hmm. You can use steam, but typically you don't. Mm -hmm. And if, you're, if you did it with the pencil um, and even the Sharpie, I would suggest burnishing it a little. So oh, you could uh -huh. use a burnishing tool, or I just use my thumbnail just <laughs> to kind of help, help the image to transfer over. I can see how this would be more important to do than like the bear. That would, would probably come near adhering. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a, a simpler shape. Uh -huh. And then when we peel oh. it off, we yeah. have we have our design, so we know exactly where where to cut it out. And then here we have an example of the design already already cut out mm -hmm. and placed onto whatever background you want to do. And um, do you have any tips on the cutting? Is that 
in these small areas? Is that pretty difficult? I like to use really tiny scissors. So scissors, you know, closer to that size uh, are, are easier to, to cut these little detailed part. And just uh -huh. like when you were a, a child cutting out detailed things with your, your scissors, just snip in the middle there. Uh, to make, to make a, little, a little slit oh, uh -huh. to cut out that little bit. Good tip I'd forgotten about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And then just fuse it down whenever whenever it's all cut out. You place it there. And, and that's what's and so nice. You don't have to use pins. You don't have to you don't worry have to about it slipping. It. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yep. It makes it a lot easier. And you have some uh, quilt blocks that yeah. uh, would be ready to. Yeah. So then here's that same word, love. I love you so. Mm -hmm. It's a recent Valentine's Day project. <laughs> Uh, so it was fused down, and then I did a satin stitch around uh -huh. the outside edge. And uh, it's pretty narrow. Is what do you tend to use on your satin stitch? Yeah, so it's about a 2.5 to 2.7 millimeter width, and maybe a 0.7 length. So it's oh. nice and dense. Uh huh. All right. And then these will soon be placemats. Oh. oh. So we have placemat. I hadn't thought about. It. I was yeah. just thinking quilts, but you can mm -hmm. do placemats. Oh, any kind of project. Or? Put it on a bag, uh -huh. a pillow. You know, whatever you want to do. Good idea. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we have our mom, guest, dad, and Davin. This is our, this is our little family. Uh -huh. So, well, how little project. nice. Yes. And and as you have told me before, it's such a great way the way you use the scraps, mm -hmm. which is not as evident in this as it is in one of the bigger landscapes mm -hmm. or something. Uh, all of those scraps when you sew, I never throw a single piece away, well, and the I know you don't. too pretty. You don't want to. <laughs> they you they are. hold on to it. Yeah. And I know you told me that this was a hundred percent cotton. Mm -hmm. Do you ever work in, you know, even embellished fabrics or fleece type? You could certainly. I, I'll sometimes do applique pieces with wool um, or maybe a, maybe a silk. I like oh. the cotton. It doesn't fray quite as much as you know maybe a silk or something oh. like that. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, you could uh -huh. use different substrates, definitely. And this, this uh, script pattern, I actually have as a, a free download on my website, so we oh, can, so we can go to that and get the, mm -hmm, the get the letter exactly uh -huh. download it and, and and do exactly what we did today. Oh. Well, this is great, and it, it does give you ideas. If you don't want to make a you know king size quilt as oh, your yeah. first project, you can start. You with shouldn't some small do that things. as your first project. <laughs> well, do that's something true. smaller. <laughs> You'll enjoy okay. the the. the the end result and the, the, the hobby. And it's more. faster. I like the immediate gratification, as, yes. it, as it were. Well, I thank you too. so much. I appreciate you coming and sharing Absolutely. with us. Absolutely. It's a pleasure.